What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Community Voices. Today, we got a very special guest. You might have seen him last year with an episode with us by Malcolm Brogdon. Malcolm, thank you for joining us again, especially for this special MLK episode. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So let's jump right into it. Talk about the significance of MLK Day and what it means to you. Um, you know, I think it, MLK was uh, a worldly leader. I think he changed the world. He didn't just change his country. Um, he changed the lives of, for, you know, generations after him. Um, my kids, kids, kids will be heavily impacted by the legacy that he left. Um, but, you know, for me more personally, you know, I wouldn't be able to play in the NBA. I wouldn't be able to make the money I do. I wouldn't be able to live the lifestyle I do and be in the places and environments that I'm in every day. Um, if it wasn't for Dr. King and John Lewis and all these amazing leaders um, of that generation. So uh, this day is a celebration of, of Dr. King, but it's also a celebration of all those leaders that he, uh, you know, created the change with. Absolutely. And also I heard that, you know, a family member of yours had marched with him back in the day. So talk to us about that. For sure. My grandfather, um, uh, John Adams, he was, he, him and Dr. King actually went to Boston College together. Um, and uh, that's where my grandfather got his master's um, while Dr. King was there in school. And um, then, you know, you know, for during the civil rights movement, um, these leaders were in different, different cities all over the country so but they were working together uh because they were all moving on the same plane they were they were strategizing together um so my grandfather after that went to seattle uh dr king uh did a lot of his work in the south whether it was montgomery atlanta wherever it was um but they were coordinating so my grandfather was you know having sit-ins and and leading marches in seattle um while dr king was doing his thing in the south so uh you know they were they were working together um, they definitely marched together at times, but they were working together on the same plan, uh, but in different parts of the country. That's a crazy thing. Not everyone could say like they have or know someone that actually marched with Dr. King. So that's an incredible story. So talk about MLK and just like his influence on today's leaders, especially in the black community. Uh, you know, I, I think Dr. King was special because his, his approach was nonviolence. Um, his approach was so different than anybody that had really come before him or, or, or what, um, you know, people like Malcolm X, when Malcolm X first started, um, you know, Mar Malcolm X was all about, you know, retaliation. Don't let them put, your, put their hand on you. Um, that was more of his, his route. Um, and Dr. King disagreed and he, and he held firmly on that. And then um, you know, you see all these leaders sort of come to Dr. King's side and agree with them. And, uh, you know, so much more was accomplished that way. They're, they're not retaliating and not stooping down to that level of violence um, that white people were showing at the time. Um, so uh, I, I think that's what made him special. Um, and, you know, what, what made his legacy so strong is, is his, his rap and um, you know, his belief system that he, that he held so firmly on. Absolutely. And lastly, for us, you know, talk about the work your foundation has been doing, uh, especially within, you know, the Black community and it tomorrow being MLK Day. So speak on, like, the work you've been doing personally, especially with, like, giving back and philanthropy and altruism. Yeah, well, you know, um, my foundation, uh, you know, a part of my foundation focuses on clean water wells in East Africa. Um, so for me, when I think about the Black community, I think about uh, Black people in the world. Um, and, uh, you know, right now we really focus on, uh, you know, just building clean water wells and making sure that, uh, you know, people in Tanzania and Kenya that don't have clean water get clean water. Um, but then here, you know, one thing we're doing is uh, we have a HBCU social justice uh, tour that we're putting on. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll have it in about two months. And it takes about 60 kids from IPS, Indianapolis Public Schools, uh, the system here. It takes about 60 kids and takes them to seven different HBCUs, um, uh, Fisk, Morehouse, uh, Clark Atlanta, um, Tuskegee, and they get to learn about the history of HBCUs, the significance, um, why they are important. Um, and it, you know, it, it, it's kids from all different backgrounds, black, white, Hispanic, it doesn't matter. So it's, I think it's something that's gonna be special, it's something that's um, gonna be unique and I'm, I'm looking forward to um, giving kids the opportunity to learn about something different. 
Absolutely. I love how HBCUs, just like as a, re as a late, actually, have been just getting a lot of attention and love and support. Even like top athletes picking HBCUs over like, you know, the more well-known programs in the country. And, you know, I feel like it's thanks to these programs like yours that inform people about them and the importance of them as well that really give people like the, the knowledge to choose like, all right, I want to check out HBCU and attend one of these schools. So it's great work you're doing. Um, and I know you got a flight to catch as well, heading out to LA. So I want to pre thank you for the time. And, you know, as always, you've worked with us before and we're going to make another donation to your foundation to keep up the work you've been doing. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate the donation, but even more so just being able to talk about uh, the foundation and, and, you know, everything I got going on and shedding the light on all that. So I appreciate it. Ooh, absolutely. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you for the time, Alvin. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir.